What's up, guys? As promised, 7 p.m. Here we are. I'm just going to quickly open this on my computer and try and keep up with everybody's comments. It's proven to be difficult in the past, so try not to be too hard on me. Boom. There we go. I got it going. What's up, Ma? What's up, Jenna? Holy cow, I got my whole family in here. Oh. What's up, Tanner? What's up, Kelly? So yeah, like I said, um, I said I'd jump on here at 7 p.m. so we could do a little hangout. What's up, Olivia? What's up, Amber? What's up, Rome? What's up, Amy? I don't have like anything super particular to talk about this time. Like I know last time we went live, we talked about the new video, I Wish, and, and a bunch of stuff. It was sort of centered around that. Um, but this time, we're just going to cover a variety of things that I got going on. Um, and yeah, and just chill out for a little bit. What's up, Dalton? What's up, Jason? I'm glad you got your CDs, bro. What's up, Murphy? What's up, Shane? What's up, Joey? What's up, Adele? What's up, Zach? What's up, TJ? So yeah, I got my little... Uh, Thanks, bro. I appreciate that. TJ said I'm the most underrated rapper out there. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Um, so, yeah, I got my little piece of paper here. Got a bunch of stuff that I wrote down that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So, first and foremost, um, the new video, I Wish, is out. It's doing incredible. Um, I just have to send a huge thank you um, to everyone that's been watching that video and sharing that video and showing their friends or whatever it is that you guys are doing. It's one of like the fastest growing videos we've ever had. Uh, like I said, it's like a really different type of song for me, a really different type of video for me. It was like a really just a different thing. So I'm glad that uh, that it was received as well, it was as, well as it was received. Um, and yeah, just as usual, man, like, one of the fastest growing videos we ever had. I got so many just like wonderful and positive messages about that song and that video. So I just have to send out like a massive thank you to you guys. Um, it really means the world to me. I was super nervous about that record and about that song. So just the fact that you guys made me feel so comfortable after I put it out of there into the world. Once again, man, you guys like flooded me with positivity when I needed it the most. Um, and thank you guys so much. I love you tons from the bottom of my heart. That means the world. Um, and on the topic of I Wish, if you haven't seen it, that's the brand new video. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't checked it out. Um, and more importantly, I would just appreciate the hell out of it if you guys could share it for me. And really just like get the word out there. We're at like 700,000 views on Facebook. And we're at 700,000 on YouTube. As soon as that thing hits a million, I'm dropping the next video. And uh, so I just really appreciate everybody's help with that. If you could help me hit a million on YouTube, just please youtube.com slash Tom McDonald official. Go to I Wish, watch it and share it for me. Most importantly, just share the hell out of that video. Like I said, the, the moment that thing hits a million... I'm dropping a new video. So I was just on set the other day for 18 hours um, shooting the next video and it's crazy. It's crazy. I know a lot of people are here uh, and know about me and have sort of found out about my stuff um, and are used to like the vibe of like politically incorrect and hell of it and white boy and stuff like that. Um, I wish was, I think, a big step away from that and just helps show a different, um, you know, kind of showcase a different vibe. This next video, we're going back to the wheelhouse. We're doing like the aggressive, crazy Tom McDonald that I think a lot of people are here for. Um, and it was like a really awesome break to take uh, with I wish, but I'm very, very excited to get back to, you know, what I do best and that's pissing people off. So let's do it. Um, Shit, you guys, uh, you guys wouldn't believe, man. We were on set of this music video the other day. The next one that I'm talking about dropping, and man, we took a break in between, uh, in between shots or whatever. We're all standing outside, hanging around, talking or whatever, and some lady walks up to us with a shopping cart full of puppies. And just pushes the shopping cart at us and she's just like take some dogs and she just turned around and ran away so 
our dogs, my, mine and Nova's dogs just had puppies and it took three or four months of taking care of them before we could find them homes and stuff with our friends. And it was such a relief to have puppies out of the house. And then here I am in the middle of a fucking music video with a box full of seven uh, Pipple boxer puppies. And so that got dumped in my lap during a music video. So I had to cart them around with me all day to the, to the, the other shoots we were doing and whatever, whatever, whatever. And then we finally made it back to the house. It was like a really long, like 18 hour day. And we found homes for them with all my friends. So that was really cool. Um, but yeah, that's just on the topic of the new video. That's the way the shoot went down. It was crazy. So do me a favor, go uh, share the shit out of the I Wish video, www.youtube.com slash Tom McDonald official, and just share the shit out of it. The second that hits a million, I'm gonna drop the next video. So that's what's up. Um, oh, the other thing is, I Wish is now available, along with the rest of my music, um, to stream and download like everywhere. So I'll put a link in the bottom of this video when I'm done, I'll comment or whatever. And if you click on that link, you get to pick where you stream it or where you download it from. It's got Apple Music, Google Play, iTunes, Tidal, Spotify, everything in that link. So just click the link and you can pick uh, where you want to stream it or where you want to download from or whatever you want. So, right. Also, on the topic of I Wish, I don't know if you guys saw this, um, but I posted uh, yesterday about a music video that I want all of you guys in. It's really, really easy. All you have to do is take a 10 second video, holding up a piece of paper with whatever you wish written on the piece of paper. So whether that's, I wish I wasn't scared or I wish that I was strong or whatever that may be. Take a 10 second video with your phone, make the sign, film yourself holding it, and then email it to this is what I wish at gmail.com. Again, I'll comment on this video afterwards and I'll put that uh, email in the comments. So take your video, send it to me. This is not a contest. I'm not picking just a certain number of people or something like that. If you take the time out of your day to make that sign and shoot the video and email it to me, I'll take the time out of my day to put you in a music video. So that's kind of my thing. If you guys want to be in the music video, make the sign, write your wish on it. Email it to this is what I wish at gmail.com and I'll put you in a music video. I just thought it'd be like a real cool thing. Um, I mean, obviously, you guys are the reason why I, I wish is blowing up the way that it is. Um, and I feel like the the least I could do is, uh, you know, do something fun and do something cool, like put everybody in a music video. So I don't know. Let's just do it and see how it turns out. Um, I'm just going to check out you guys' comments for a minute and see what everybody's saying. <sighs> Thanks, Adele. Look forward to seeing your uh, your video. What's up, Christiana? What's up, Arlie? What's up, Jonathan? What's up, David? What's up, Andrew? Um, David says, how long do we have to send that video? I don't really have like a set time frame or a deadline or anything like that. But, I mean... I'm going to put together this video in like the next few days. Definitely like in the next two days, if you want to be in it, you should have your sign made and your video sent to that email because after I start editing, I'm not going back into the email to like download a bunch more videos that come in late. So if you want to be in the video, do it tonight, do it tomorrow and you'll be good. It'll take 10 minutes. You know what I mean? So, and I'd really like to have as many of you guys in it as possible. I think that like, it'll be a nice little thing that we can do to commemorate, um, this journey together. So, so there's that. And, um, I'm going on tour in April. I know everybody's always asking me, when are you going on tour? When are you going on tour? Please come here. Please come there. Um, but it's official April. We're going on tour and we're going like everywhere. So what I'm in the process of doing right now is just like I did with the hell of it tour. Uh, we made a website, and it had all the dates on it. And you could just go to the website, see what was closest to you or where your city was. And you can just purchase tickets right off the website. I think they're like 10 or 15 bucks or something. Um, so in the next few days, I'll have that website built and I'll have it posted to Facebook. So if you want to come see us on tour and come hang out, that'd be amazing. Um, 
and it's coming right up. It's like a, what, a month and a half or two months away. So it should be really badass. The last time that we went on, out on tour, it was like incredible. Um, this is like really cool being able to talk to everybody live, live on Facebook and stuff, but it doesn't even come close to like measuring up to like meeting everybody in person and shaking hands and doing that whole thing. And before everybody starts asking, cause I've been asked about it a million times, do we have like VIP tickets or do we do, is there uh, meet and greet tickets or anything like that? We don't do none of that shit. Um, any rapper, artist or movie star or whatever the fuck, whoever it is, whoever's charging you to meet them and shake their hand or take a photo with them, that's fucking weirdo shit, and we don't do that. If you come to a show, you don't have to spend any extra money to meet us or shake our hand or get an autograph or take a picture or whatever the fuck it is. After the shows happen, I'm in the venue till 3, 4 in the morning, signing autographs and taking pictures with everybody and just doing the damn thing. So if you want to come out, get an autograph picture, see a show, blah, 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 blah. April's your opportunity. And I'll be posting the website soon so you guys can check it out. Um, on the topic of autographs and stuff, I just sent out a brand new batch of these bad boys the other day. The light's kind of bright. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to tilt it at the right angle. This is my album, Death Threats. Um, oh, that, that looks like it's a pretty good angle right there. Death Threats. Every single copy is signed. It's got all your favorite records on it. Politically Incorrect, White Boy, Hell of It, Dear Rappers, uh exposure castles blah 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 it's got all those records on it so if you want one of these bad boys every single copy is signed i put them i sign them i put them in the envelope i seal that some bitch put it in the mail and send it to you all myself so if you want one that's your chance if you go to www.hangovergang.com that's where you find them right before I was late coming onto this live stream because I just made a discount code. I know that like every time there's 600,000 people in the group, but every time we go live, there's only about 1500, 1600, 2000 of us sometimes. So I just figured for the people in the live stream, if you want an album or you want something else, I got the Maha ski masks, make America hate again, ski masks. And I got t-shirts and ball caps and eight by 10 photos and signed albums, any of that stuff, hangovergang.com. And I figured for the people that are in the live stream, I would do a, uh, a discount code. So if you go to hangovergang.com, uh, you purchase your, your whatever you want, and then when you're about to check out, there's a place to put in a discount code. Just put in live stream, all one word, L-I-V-E-S-T-R-E-A-M, live stream. All one word in cap locks and you will get 15% off your order no matter what the order is or how many things you've got. So along with the streaming link that I'm going to post in the comments, along with the email where you submit your video for my music video that I'm going to put in the comments, I'll also put a link to the website and the promo code in the comments. So just look for my comment after this video and everything that you need will be there. So yeah, you want an album or t-shirt or ski mask and you want 15% off, use the code livestream www.hangovergang.com. Talked about tour. I got my little checklist here and I'm burning through it. I'm usually, I'm usually not this diligent about killing the to-do list, but I'm doing very well right now if I do say so myself. Um, oh, here's one thing that I meant to mention. Um, a lot of people ask, I talk about it all the time, like how we do everything ourselves from the audio production to the video production to running the website, sending the merch, blah, 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 blah. Um, so there's one guy kind of behind the scenes who, so I make all my beats and I, I write the songs um, and I record them. We do everything out of our house. Um, but one thing that's not sort of in my skill set or not to the, the degree, I'm not as good at it as I, good at it as I'd like to be is mixing and mastering my songs. So my homie from Canada in Vancouver, Evan Morgan mixes and masters all my songs for me. I produce them. He mixes them and makes them sound amazing. So I know I have a lot of guys. Hit Sorry, I just got a phone call. I just ignored it. Um, I get a lot of people hit me up all the time about features and who works on my music and 
Can I sell them beats and blah, 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 blah. But I, I don't really do any of that. But if you are an artist and you've hit me up and you like how my stuff sounds, if you, sonically you're impressed by the way that things sound, um, hit up my homie Evan Morgan. You can go to his website, www.evanmorganproductions.com. You can hit him up on Instagram at emorganproductions. Or you can go facebook.com slash evanmorganproductions. And that's my dude. And he's uh, in Vancouver in Canada. Um, so, you know, if I can't mix and master the stuff in house, at least I'd like to, the least I could do is keep it Canadian. You know what I mean? Put it on for people in the hometown. So yeah. So if you're an artist and you got music you want to work on, hit up Evan. He's amazing. His rates are great and he does incredible work. So, um, so yeah, I'm just looking at you guys' comments. Um, Tanner says, does your girlfriend help you with your music videos? Yeah, man. Absolutely. If it wasn't for my girlfriend, there would be no music videos. Well, there might be music videos, but they'd be a lot shittier. Because, uh, yeah, you guys should check her out, man. She's uh, not only does my girlfriend do all my music videos for me. Um, you know, she, uh, she helps conceptualize the whole thing with me. And she shoots them all on her camera. And uh, sh we edit them together. We do everything together. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, she she's the uh, she's the man behind the camera, so to speak. But not only is she like an incredible uh, cinematographer, but she's also like an incredible musician. So I'd encourage you to go check her out. Her name's Nova Rockefeller, and uh, she's a really dope rapper, really dope guitar player, really dope singer, just an all around really dope person. So go check them out. Um, I think it's facebookcom slash Nova Rockefeller if you want to check her out. She's great. Um, Chris says, when are you going to rap about combat vets and our struggles? You know, I did that once before and it's definitely, uh, definitely something I'm going to get, I'm going to do again soon in the, in the, uh, in the future. David says, are you open to the idea of a diss track or do you try to avoid those? Oh man, it just, I don't know, dude, like it takes so much out of me to like, I mean, to sit down and compose the music and then write the song and then have it live up to a standard that I'm comfortable with and have that meet everybody else's expectations and stuff like that. Like, I'm like big on energy these days as somebody that like has openly stated that they struggle with anxiety and depression and stuff like that. I don't have a whole lot of spare energy to be, you know, conjuring up like negative energy and tossing that in somebody else's direction you know what i mean i just and i don't have really any desire i make music as an outlet and to make myself feel good and to help other people feel good and like it just seems like a diss track is sort of like the antithesis of all that you know what i mean putting music out into the world to hurt somebody else just seems like the most counterproductive fucking thing that anybody could ever do so i'm not really interested in it man I'm not going to say never, but at this point in my life, like, what would be the fucking point? I'd rather make songs like Castles all day and just vibe out. Um, Randall Jower says, Tom, I have a learning disability. Do you have any advice for a young, hungry rapper like me? Honestly, man, my best advice, and I know I've said it a million times, I know other people have said it a million times, but just like be you, dude, and like know yourself. Because when I started making music, uh, when I was like 18 or 19 years old, I just like, I didn't have, you know, I was listening to guys like Eminem and 50 Cent and Game and like lots of gangster rap and Dipset and shit like that. So my music, I was talking about all the same things those guys were talking about. Guns and drugs and girls and money and cars and blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, that shit's so transparent, bro. Like, nobody wants to hear me tell somebody else's story. You know what I mean? And I don't want to hear you tell anybody else's story other than your own. So I've said it before, man. I'll say it again. If you, if, if you work at fucking 7-Eleven, rap about that. If you install air conditioners rap about that. If you're a dog walker, rap about that. Whatever is true and genuine and authentic to like who you are, be that because people gravitate towards the truth. Um, 
and anything else is fucking pointless, bro. So just do you, tell your story, and the people will come, man. Don't even sweat it. Olivia Cheyenne says, Tom, I'm 60% deaf. Would you ever make a song about disabilities like that? Honestly, Olivia, I never really thought about it, but it's a great idea. I'd, de I'd definitely be, uh, you know, on board for making a song about disabilities or for people with disabilities. Absolutely. Um, David says, could you do a song with Metallica? Yeah, you know what? Uh, as soon as I get off Facebook, I'm going to um, I'm gonna give Metallica a call and uh, just see if they're available to, to, to jump on a Tom McDonald track real quick. But I love fucking Metallica. I'm just buggy, dude. Um, this looks like everybody's just giving me song ideas. I don't need song ideas, guys. I appreciate them. But I'm all stocked up on that over here. Um, but yeah. I got through my entire list. So now I'm just hanging out. Maybe I'll just reiterate this entire thing one time real quick. Let's see if I can do it in 30 seconds. Uh, thank you guys so much for helping I Wish be one of the fastest rising videos that I've ever done. I owe it all to you guys. I love you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Please do me a favor and share the shit out of that thing. YouTube.com slash Tom McDonald official. Go to I Wish and share it to your Facebook. The second that thing breaks a million views, I'm going to drop the next video. The next video is one of the most abrasive things I've ever done. It's going to piss a lot of people off. It's going to confuse a lot of people. And it's going to be amazing. In April, I'm going on tour and I'm going to see everybody on the road. Last time we did it, it was amazing. And I hope this time is just as amazing as last time. The Everybody Hates Me Tour website will be dropping in the next few days. You can go there, check your city, and get tickets right online. Um... Make America Hate Again ski masks and signed copies of my album are available on www.hangovergang.com as are t-shirts, ball caps, sweatpants, 8x10 photos, and a bunch of other really neat stuff. If you use the promo code LIVESTREAM just for tonight and tomorrow, you'll get a 15% off discount on your order, regardless of how big it is or what you get. Um... Evan Morgan mixes and masters a lot of my stuff, and you can find him at www.evanmorganproductions.com. That was longer than 30 seconds, but that was a pretty tight recap, if I do say so myself. Um, Meme or Mimi Evans says, what's your thoughts on Childish Gambino being the first rap artist to take album and song of the year? I don't know, man. I don't listen to a lot of Childish Gambino. I think that... This is America winning rap song of the year is a stretch for sure. Um, I thought that video was fucking amazing, but as a song, like rap song of the year, I don't know. After I heard it once, I never needed to hear it ever again. I showed a couple people the video, but I, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't freaking out about the song, but whatever, man. The Grammys is the Grammys. They're always making silly ass decisions. Who cares? Um... It's just stupid, like, self-serving award show. Fuck it. Um, John Lynn says, do you have a favorite song that you've done? Uh, not yet, man. That song's still on the way. I'll know when it happens. Um, April says, do you feel like uh, sharing what was on your mind when you wrote Castles? Um... Sure, yeah. It wasn't like one thing that was on my mind. It was a series of things that ended up being on my mind over the course of like a week or something. Um, just like, and literally the first four bars of that song is what birthed like the entire thing. Um, I forget exactly how it goes. I see you at the liquor store, leave him with the cheapest kind of beer on the shelf. Um, I don't remember the rest of the words. I write too much music. But... Um, all those lines that I wrote about those people, like the woman leaving the liquor store with the cheapest can of beer on the shelf. I was in that liquor store. I saw that happen. You know what I mean? I made a mental note of that. And then I was walking my dog and I saw like this guy standing or sitting rather on his, uh, on his front porch. And I noticed that there was like a wheelchair ramp leading up to his door. And that was another line from the song. I see you on the front porch. Uh, playing with a radio, looking to the sky. Probably living in that house all alone these days, trying to find a better way to pass time. 
You got a wheelchair ramp leading up to the door. I can see that you walk just fine. You probably hate it because it isn't getting used anymore and you only ever built it for your wife. And that was just like this guy, man, that was sitting on his uh, front porch playing with his radio. And I saw that there was a wheelchair ramp leading up to leading up to his front door. And I also saw him stand up and walk in the house with no problem. And I walked past that guy's house hundreds of times and never saw anybody else except for him there. So just like gets you thinking like, what's the story behind that? Why is this guy by himself all the time? Why is this guy like perfectly capable of walking but there's a wheelchair ramp leading up to his door like what's the story you know what i mean so it was just like a bunch of uh small observations that i made about different people over the course of like a couple weeks and then i just wrote down those people in my phone i wrote down what i saw i wrote down what i felt and then after i had like you know eight nine ten people written down in my phone doing things that i've i i had observed um I just thought, oh shit, I should uh, write a song about this, you know what I mean? And I did, so that was, uh, that was the whole psychology behind castles. Mm, I'm just going through you guys' comments again. You guys are saying a lot of nice things, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um... Randy says, if you could collab with any artist, who would it be and why? Um, I don't know. Honestly, I'd get Zeppelin back together and I'd do a song with Zeppelin or I'd bring, uh, I'd bring Kurt back from the dead and do a song with Nirvana just because there's a lot of great rappers out there and there's a lot of great artists out there and stuff. But um, I just feel like the vast majority of the music that gets made today is uh, just like totally expendable. And it's like, it's hot for two months or three months, or if it's really hot, six months, and then it just disappears into the great the void. And then it, you know, you never hear from it again. And I'm not in the business of making music that's cool for two months and then never again. I want to make timeless music that's good forever that you can pass down to your kids. Like my dad passed down um, Led Zeppelin to me and Pink Floyd to me and Steppenwolf and The Beatles. I want to make that type of music, that caliber of music, that timeless type of stuff. Like Cobain was passed down to me. Um, so I'd probably collaborate with somebody who I see as somebody that makes timeless music because that's what I want to do. And I want to make music, even if it's just one song that gets passed down forever. You know what I mean? Led Zeppelin, how old is that band? 30 years, 35, 40 years old? The Beatles, stuff like that. And it's still played on the radio. It's still passed down from parents to their kids. I'm going to pass Zeppelin down to my kids. You know what I mean? So that's the type of music that I want to make. And those are the type of artists that I want to collaborate with. Not to say that I wouldn't collaborate with somebody else. Because there's tons of, tons of dope artists out there. I'm just saying, if I had to pick one, it would be something like that. Joe Rippey says, what do you think of today's trash music? Uh, go listen to Hell of It. Listen to Dear Rappers. Let's new exposure. That's what I think. Charlotte says, what's the reason behind politically incorrect? Jeez Louise, I thought that was pretty clear. Um, okay, here's the thing about politically incorrect. I'm just tired of politically correct culture. I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of everybody whining about something. I'm offended, this hurt my feelings, I need a safe zone. It's just like everything hurts everyone. Everything's racist, everything's sexist, everything's ageist, everything's offensive, everything's insensitive. It's just like too fucking much. And like most of these people like standing up for causes, they're standing up for um, whatever it may be, women's wages, gay rights, like whatever the fuck it is, these are all positive things. Women should have equal, equal rights. They should get equal pay. Gay people should have equal rights. They should get equal pay. They should be treated just like everybody else. And that's fine. It's not the issues that, that are the problem. It's that most of these people standing up and saying, Hey, Hey, me over here, I'm offended. You're insensitive. I don't feel good about this. 
You're not the fucking person experiencing the issue. What you're doing is, is, is trying to put yourself on a pedestal and say, hey, look at how socially conscious I am. Look at how sensitive I am. Look at how aware I am of the world around me. And the only fucking reason you're doing that is because you have Facebook and you have Instagram and you have Twitter and you're not actually standing up and, and saying, hey, over here, this is what I think to help anybody else. What you're doing is placing yourself on a pedestal so you can just say, show me love because I'm, because I'm so righteous. I'm so sensitive and I'm so aware and I'm so such a safe, safe person in a safe space. Like that's, that's what annoys me about it is like, look, you're not actually trying to fucking help anyone. You're trying to champion yourself as aware of the world that we live in. And I'm fucking aware of the world that we live in. I'm not on the internet crying and bitching and pissing and moaning about it all the time. So that was the, uh, that's the story behind Politically Incorrect. Um, so yeah, that's really it. I'm just checking out you guys' comments again and seeing what's going on. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, Adele. It's like the, the look at me, look at me, look at me, listen to me. I have thoughts and feelings and stuff too. Yeah, we know, bro. We heard them all before. Uh, Michael says, would you handle your own licensing requests uh, to use your music in fireworks or something like that? Yeah, I handle all my own licensing stuff. If you want to use my music for uh, fireworks display or fucking short film or whatever it is, just email tommcdonaldbusiness at gmail.com and uh, we'll get it all handled. So, so let me just reiterate this whole thing one more time. I got to say a huge, massive thank you to everyone that's helping I Wish be one of my fastest rising videos ever. I was super nervous about putting it out and uh, you guys made me feel super comfortable with that release. So thank you very much. Um, the second I Wish hits 1 million views, I'm going to drop the next video, which is a crazy one. I'm really excited. So please... Go to www.youtube.com slash Tom McDonald official. Go to I wish and share that video for me. It'd mean a lot. Um, also share it on Facebook. I wish is, is available everywhere right now. You can stream it or download it on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Google Play, Tidal, Amazon, blah, 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 blah. So I'll post a link in the comments like I said I do. Um, and you can choose where you download or stream from that link. Um... Please, I'm putting everybody, I'm putting every single one of you in a music video. If you want to be in a music video, please take a white piece of paper, write what you wish on it. Whether it's, I wish that I wasn't scared or I wish I was strong. I wish I didn't have anxiety. I wish I wasn't depressed. Whatever it is, write your wish on a piece of paper. Take a 10 second video of you holding that piece of paper. You can do it with your cell phone, not a big deal. And email it to... This is what I wish at gmail.com. It's not a contest. I'm not picking a certain number of people. If you get your video in, you're going in the music video. I'm really excited for it. It's just a cool way that we can interact with each other and I can sort of low key say thank you for all of the help and we can sort of celebrate this journey that we're on together. Um, so that email will also be in the comments below. Um, I just sent out another batch of albums. I have a few left. If you want a signed copy of the Death Threats album, or you want a Maha Ski Mask, or anything of that nature, ball caps, t-shirts, etc., 8x10 photos, www.hangovergang.com, just for the people in this live stream. Don't go sharing this code out. It's just for you guys. If you purchase something... It will allow you to put in a promo code. The promo code is live stream, all one word, all cap locks. If you use that code, you'll get 15% off your order. I will also put that in the comments down below when I get off of live. So just look for my comment. It'll have everything there. It'll have the email to submit your video to if you want to be in a music video. It'll have the website address and your promo code. It will have the link fire link which you click and it allows you to stream or download I Wish or any of my other music on from any platform. It's your choice. And it'll prompt you to make that choice. Um, 
We're going on tour in April. I will have the Everybody Hates Me Tour website up in the next few days. And it will allow you guys to get some tickets and hopefully come and see us and hang out. Like I said, there's no VIP tickets. There's no special meet and greet tickets. We don't do that. I don't charge people to shake my hand or take a photo or get an autograph. So 10 bucks or 15 bucks or whatever it may be, that's all in. Come to the show, we'll hang out. I hang out before the show, I get on stage and do the damn thing, and then I hang out till whatever, three, four in the morning, hanging out with everybody, signing all the shit and doing it. So I hope I get to see you guys out on the road. The last tour was fucking amazing. Um, so let's do it again. So I'm gonna go through everybody's comments one last time and hopefully uh, get a couple more questions here. Uh, Michael Finley says, would you consider doing a song with an up and coming rapper? Yeah, sure, man. Um, nothing's out of the realm of possibility. You know what I mean? I don't really do many features. I have a lot of people hit me up to do songs and stuff. And I'm just like, the music and shit is so personal to me that I don't, I don't typically do a lot of songs with other people. I just keep to myself and whatever, whatever. But you know, if the right opportunity arises, it's like, it's not off the table by any means. Uh, Mike says, can you at, say the website name for the I wish thing? It's this is what I wish at gmail.com. But like I said, I'll put it in the comments so you don't even have to remember it. It'll be there in 10 minutes. As soon as I'm off live, it'll be there. Don't even sweat it. What up, Mike? Um, Jolene says, this 60 year old grandma loves you. Why, well, thank you, Jolene. I love you too. I think we both know that AJ and shit, but candles on a cake, so. Uh, David says, my son is 10. Can he be in your video or no? He loves your music. Yeah, absolutely. Anybody is welcome in the video. I don't care how old, how young, what color, what creed, what race, what religion. Don't fucking matter. Send your video and you'll be in it. Um, Sean says, is line paper good? Yeah, if you're going to use line paper, use a felt marker so it's easy to see what your wish is on the piece of paper. Uh, Shane says, I'm curious, did you rent the Back to the Future Time Machine DeLorean or did you buy it? Oh shit, I have a lot of people ask me about that car. Um, if you guys didn't know, in the I Wish video, the DeLorean that I sort of time travel with is the DeLorean from Back to the Future. Um, I most definitely didn't buy that car. Not only is that car very, very, very expensive, but it's totally fucking impractical. Um, but we rented it for the day and we had a badass time with it, it was good. So I see a lot of people talking about anxiety and depression and stuff too. And usually I try, I try and touch on that real quick. So I will do that really quick. Um, man, I don't know if it's the time of year or if it's just like the workload that I have going on now or what the fuck it is. But I have definitely been dealing with my fair share of anxiety and depression lately. I've been just getting my ass whooped for the last couple weeks. Luckily, these last couple days have been a lot better. Um... But yo, just know that if you're going through it, man, like somebody else is going through it. You know what I mean? If it's not me, it's your fucking neighbor. If it's not not your neighbor, it's somebody else. Um, millions of people are struggling with this shit every day. So you're not alone. You're not crazy. You're not like on the fringes of like humanity. Um, you're not an outcast. You're not a reject. You're just somebody... Um, dealing with problems and we all deal with that at one time or another and and i've been dealing with it a lot too so so just know that uh that it does get better you gotta hang in there and be strong i've said it before and i'll say it again it's my favorite thing um even the bumpiest roads eventually do run smooth and the clouds will break and things will get better i promise you that you just got to keep fucking breathing you know what i mean keep putting one foot in front of the other and keep fucking breathing and this shit will get better. Um, there's a billion different ways that you can help yourself feel better. I know that exercise helps me a lot. I know that eating good helps me a lot. I know that reading about what you're feeling helps me a lot. Look into cognitive behavior therapy. It's one of the most helpful things that I've ever discovered in my life. It's essentially giving you the skills to be your own therapist. If that doesn't work, go to therapy. 
Take vitamins. There's vitamins that are mood enhancing vitamins. It's important. Meditating is important. You know what I mean? So there's like a billion different ways to deal with this shit. Not one way is going to work. What you need to do is try a few things, find out what you like, figure out the combination of things that works best for you and keep pushing forward. And th this shit will eventually pass. I promise you that. So just keep getting strong. That's a, that's a couple words of advice for um, my people out there struggling, man. I trust me. I feel you. So, so on that note, I think we've gone over it enough times. Um, when I wish hits a million, I'm going to drop a new video. So please go to YouTube and share. I wish or share it from my Facebook page. I wish is now available on all streaming services, Spotify, Apple, iTunes, Tidal, Google play everywhere. So I'll post that link in the comments and you can stream or download it from a service of your choosing. If you want to be in the next music video, I'd love it if you were. Take a 10 second video of you holding up a piece of paper that says, I wish something on it. I wish I was strong. I wish I wasn't scared. Whatever it is, send it to me. The email address is this is what I wish at gmail.com. I'll post that in the comments along with the link to stream or download I wish anywhere that you want. Only for the people in this live stream. If you go to the website and you buy a ski mask or a signed album or anything else, Use the promo code live stream. You get 15% off your order, no matter how big it is or what you're getting. Don't share that promo code with anybody. You know what I mean? I don't want everybody having it. It's just for the people that are here in the live stream and this is keep it like that. Um, so yeah, live streams, the promo code www.hangovergang.com. Um, we're going on tour in April. It's going to be amazing. The last one was amazing. I hope to see all you guys out there um, and I'll be looking forward to shaking some hands and giving some hugs and taking some pictures and signing some albums. So let's have a great time. Um, I just have to thank you guys one more time. I wish is doing incredible. The rest of the videos are still growing and that's thanks to you guys and your support and your diligence sharing the records and helping spread the word, telling your friends. Um, Whatever it is you guys are doing, it's fucking working. And I appreciate the hell out of it. Um, I'm going to keep trying to do these live streams at least once a week. I've been super busy. The next video is coming soon. As soon as I wish hits a million, next video drops. And we're already at 700,000. So it shouldn't be a very long wait. Um, I hope everybody out there is winning their battle. If you're not, sometimes you got to eat some punches before you knock that son of a bitch out. So keep being strong. Try and stay happy. Keep yourselves healthy. Tell your friends that you love them. Show some gratitude for the fact that we're still alive and waking up in the morning, even when that's a difficult thing to do. Um, you guys mean the fucking world to me. You're the... You're the reason why I'm still here. And you can take that how you want it, but that's the that's a very real sentiment. I love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. It's hangover gay forever. You already know. Have a good night. Thank you for spending your time with me. I love y'all. Peace.